What's going on everybody? This is the real JB and today we're going to do an FRP bypass on the Verizon LG V20 running the November 2016 security patch. It's going to use the dirty cow method but a slight variation of it. Um, again you're going to need a phone with hotspot, a nice USB-C OTG adapter. People are complaining. Literally got this for like five bucks. Look, Daffodil. That's the brand. It's not expensive. It's really easy to get on eBay or Amazon. It's just, yeah. And then Bluetooth keyboard. So to get started, let's turn on hotspot. Connect to the, the Wi-Fi hotspot. And then just back all the way back out. Do a two finger tap and hold to activate talkback. And you can Continue turn down the screen. volume when she's talking because she's hella loud and it's annoying. <laughs> Once you get to here, hold both volume buttons. And then, then choose yes. Do both volume buttons again. Swipe down right, and go to talkback settings. Do both volume buttons again, turn it back off. Scroll to the very bottom and go help and feedback. Browse all articles. Turn on talkback. Learn how. And scroll to the very bottom, tap no, type in whatever, and you have to double tap the text. Assist. Type in settings. Go into Wi Fi and forget the network. And then scroll down to Application Manager, Show System, and then you're going to go to Google Play Services, Storage, Manage, Clear Everything, Force Stop, and Disable. And then scroll down to Setup Wizard, there's going to be two of them. Clear data on the first one. Four stop. And then in the second one, clear the cache. And four stop. And then just back all the way out. Back to setup wizard. Connect to the hotspot again. No. Nope. And now, after it connects, turn it off so that you get the skip icon. Say skip, skip anyway. And then turn it back on. <coughs> so next, skip fingerprint, skip anyway. Skip, and then go to help. And then basic definitions, airplane mode, airplane mode. Boom, back at settings. Now, go into fingerprints and security, and we have unknown sources. At this point, you can use your USB drive. And then go to storage. And I'll include this folder for everybody. It's going to be the bypass folder. You want to install everything in the install folder.
and then copy the copy folder to your internal storage on your download folder and then You're going to type the following command. So, CP SD card download copy asterisk, which means all, and then the home. That's not a dash, that's a, a, a tilde. So it's not just a hyphen. And then two and signs, CD tilde again, two more and signs, CH mod 777 all. And then go alias decal equals tilde decal. All capitals SYS equals system private app LG system server and then all caps GAM equals system private app Google login service. And then go CD dollar sign capital SYS. And then go decal tilde gam 6.apk. And then LG system server. APK and hit enter. And then go CD out arm 64. Decal tilde file. LG system server dot odex. And now CD CD dollar sign capital again and go decal tilde again six dot apk and then Google login service dot apk. And then CD out arm 64 decal tilde file Google login service dot odex and you can put the keyboard away for right now. Okay, then this is going to happen as soon as you go to pull open the sidebar. It will force close until we fix this. So you have to double tap everything because the first tap is going to be to close the, the error and the second tap is going to do a registers. So come down here and put settings on your sidebar like that. Open up settings. Mm -hmm. 
storage. And then you're going to go into the copy folder and install GAM7 APK. Done. Okay, now we're going to install the LG system server APK and the phone's going to reboot. But it's not a full reboot. It's just like a it's like a a soft reboot. Cuz with this device if it reboots, it remembers all of its old settings. So now turn off talkback and swipe in from the side. It's going to be really glitchy from here on out, so just bear with it. There we go. Now go back to settings. Application manager. And we're going to uninstall LG system server. Now, go back to the terminal. We can do some more terminal commands. Go CD data app com dot google dot android dot gsf dot login dash one and then do tilde forward slash decal tilde forward slash gam six dot apk base dot apk Tilde forward slash decal, tilde forward slash file, base dot odex. Pull up in the sidebar. Go back to settings. Manager. We're going to uninstall Google Account Manager now, and the phone's going to reboot. Hold both volume buttons again to navigate out of this little accessibility thing. Pull open on the side again for sidebar. Go back into settings. Storage. Explore. Go back into the copy folder, install GAM6. Back out. Go to Application Manager. And enable Google Play Services. Now pull open the sidebar again. Quick shortcut. Go down to Google Account Manager and look for the one that says Login Activity. 
Let's tap up here, browser sign in. Some of you thought you were clever by guessing my password. Um, joke's on you. I, uh, <laughs> this is an account I made just for this, so you're not getting anything by hacking into my account. You're not fucking special at all. <laughs> it's not hard to guess my password when I gave it to everybody. But people got to ruin it for the rest of them. Okay. Now go back into sidebar. Settings. Go into storage. Explore. Go back to the copy folder. Install GAM7. Pull up in sidebar one last time. Tap the setup wizard icon, and now just proceed through setup. And there's the magic screen. I guess I could take this time to just remind everybody to have some patience um, with the new update. Stop hassling me about it. I haven't abandoned it. It's not impossible. It's just very hard to find stuff like this out. So just remember, like, I'm still working on it. Don't worry. Like, I haven't forgotten about all y'all. Google account added. Done. And there you have it. Another one down. Huh. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice a little. And then. There we go. November security patch. This is the latest patch that this is going to work on because anything after that, December and onward, Dirty Cow doesn't work for. So, for all those devices, I'm just stuck until I can figure it out. Or if uh, anybody has any ideas, uh, feel free, ask a question, drop a comment. Everybody knows I respond pretty quickly. So, yeah. Make sure you subscribe if this is the first time watching the videos. And see you next time.